What is up guys? Enzo, what are you doing hiding under there, buddy? So today, we have some different products to go over. Maybe they're stocking stuffer ideas, maybe not. But uh, yeah, let's dive right into it. So first off, we have a typical guitar strap here. This one's just a leather one. It's actually really nice, one that my buddy gave to me. But what we're focusing on right here is the fact that it has these little metal things on the end. And, and what does this do, you might ask? So I'm gonna show you how this is done. So you, you have your guitar, and then you have your strap lock thing. And then you do one of these. I just installed my strap with one hand. And then let's go to the other side. Uh, so there's a cut here because this took more than one take, but I'm gonna try this again. And uh, perfect, nailed it. So now we have our guitar on our strap. Check that out. And then when you go to remove your strap, you just do one of these. You pull up, slide it off, pull up, slide off, your strap is now off your guitar. Wicked, awesome, cool, radical. Yeah, Schaller strap locks, totally worth the investment. So let's say you have 10 guitars and only like using two different guitar straps and you don't want to spend 20 bucks a pop just to make your guitars compatible with those two guitar straps, you get this. $4.50 from Motor City Guitar, all parts. You get compatible buttons and two replacement screws. So this will work with that system I just showed you. Boom. Next up, we have a tray of these stupid old springs. So if you buy a guitar with a tremolo on it, uh, you've seen these before. They get rusty and they reverberate and squeak and make noise. No, these are trash, total trash. Get these from futone.com. He has like four or five different offerings on that website. They all come in different tensions. These are a heavier tension here and then these are like very similar to uh, what's comes in any guitar standard. It's a very flexible and springy feel, bouncy. I can do flutters and dive bombs and warbles and this is my go-to set here. You guys know this trash that comes stock on every Floyd Rose licensed tremolo? Look at this garbage. The licensed under Floyd Rose, no, no. I'm gonna smelt these down. This is what you gotta get in your guitar right here. Futone.com brass block. This is a solid brick of machine brass. Boom, boom. I literally run the setup in every single guitar I have. Uh, 32 millimeter block. We have a 37 millimeter brass block. This really opens up the lungs of your guitar. Added clarity, sustain. It's like a bell-like bell response. It's hard to say, but this is hands down the best mod that you can do to any double locking trem. Would more than recommend. It's like 30, 40 bucks. Give it a shot. So most guitars come with these budget tuning keys and they do an okay job, but they're not that great. I would highly recommend getting something like this. This is a Spurzel style. These run between, uh, I'd say 60 and $70. You can find four on eBay or reverb.com. I know you can probably buy them direct too, but they're locking. So you turn this screw here and there's a post on the other side. So when I move this wheel, the post moves up and down, and when you clamp it up, it locks this string into the post, which means that there's no slippage, uh, the string is not going anywhere. It also allows you to increase your tuning stability. It's That's what this is here for. So with the Floyd Rose nut, and then this, it's almost like a double whammy, because if you get any sort of slippage here, this is gonna save you. So here's another brand you can get, and they're by Godo. Same exact concept. I'm gonna install one of these with one hand. So you take this nut off. This is a 10 millimeter post size. So if your guitar, this hole here is 10 millimeters, you can install one of these. So pop that through and then you would take, uh, this is so hard. Help. This and uh, uh, please. Yes, ha, I am a God. <laughs> Look at that. Nailed it. Please, just snug up for me with one hand. Yeah, so there's your tuning key. And it's the same kind of thing. Let's, let's turn it and then see that? Uh, yeah, same thing. Same thing, guys. Did that with one hand. Booyah! So yeah, that close up here. Frets on this thing are disgusting. I just recently discovered a product that takes care of this and makes it each bend feel like your frets are brand new again. And that's, like, this guitar is so bad. I've never focused on this until just recently, but I found this product, it's by Music Nomad. It's called Frine, it's a fret polishing kit. And it's about $17, $18. Uh, please, I'm sure that varies like everything. <sighs> There's a cloth here, come with a big tube of uh, 
frying different little spatulas with different fret slot size things. So let's do that. So first things first, get your little disgusting little rag. You know what I'm saying? We all have one of these. And then you find your fret size. This one's pretty close. What about this one? No, that one's stupid. Let's use this big one. And then take your little gold cap off there. Take your cloth. They say it calls for a piece size. I don't think you even need that. Take your spatula of doom. Ugh. Oh. These ones do not shine. Check that out. And then look at this. Look how clean and shiny that is. Oh my god, there's such a difference. Okay, so we've went over some cool products here, but this is the last one. The piece de la resistance. Yeah, that. We have the Zoom GHM-1 action camera mount. Has one set screw on the back here. You turn it left and this comes off. You turn it right and this clamps down. Has rubber on the inside so you're not gonna destroy the finish of your headstock because nobody wants to freaking do that. But yeah, it fully articulates. You have this little guy here. So if I wanted to turn this any which way or, oh, we wanna see the crowd now. So yeah, folks, just a quick video to show you some ideas for your beloved guitar friends this holiday season. If you like the video, please drop a like, and if you want more content, please subscribe. I'm getting better every video, every time I edit, film, it, it's becoming a lot of fun for me. So if you, if you want to follow me along on this ride, please do. I, I would really appreciate that. Anyways, happy holidays, and cheers.